Rustenburg, a bus was torched and a man arrested for public violence during a protest in Montchio and near Mahikang on Wednesday, Northwest Police said. Police spokesperson Lt. Adele Myberg said the situation was calm but tense on Wednesday afternoon. The protest started around 5.45 a.m. A bus belonged to Adam Elling Bus Service was set alight. The damage is estimated at our 750,000, she said. She said a man was arrested for public violence and a case of malicious damage to property was opened. There are two versions to the cause of the protests, one is that the protest is about service delivery while another version was that people want the premier, Supra Mahima Pello, to resign. We do not know exactly what caused the protests, she said. Locals and opposition parties said the protest was sparked by the death of two people at the Montchio Estad Clinic on Tuesday. The two could allegedly not get help at the clinic due to a strike by National Education, Health and Allied Workers Union Nahau, members. Members of Nahau have been on strike since February 26, demanding the dismissal of head of the health department Dr. Thabal Akalakale, termination of contracted companies by the department, a bonus payment of 5% across the board to all employees in the department, payment of occupation-specific dispensation OSD, for employees at provincial office and a salary increase of community health worker salaries. Provincial Democratic Alliance DA, leader Joe McLewis said people were angry at lack of basic service delivery. These communities are voicing their anger against the lack of service delivery, the state of our province and the inadequate health care they are subjected to. He said Mahuma Pello must resign as he had lost control of the province. This could have been prevented if Mahuma Pello played his role as custodian of the people of Northwest. His tenure as premier has been marked by servicing his interests as well as those of the Guptas. A second protest started near Dithikong and is due to the lack of services. The state of roads, lack of infrastructure, unreliable water supply and general service delivery are some of the main reasons for the protest here. These service delivery protests are rapidly spreading to other areas, Myberg said although the police managed to restore order around 10 a.m., there were incidents of protesters regrouping and dispersing once police approached them. The situation is calm but tense. The public order police are monitoring the situation, she added. African News Agency